Hey, what's up everybody? Pack opening at it. Um, today's gonna start actually the patron boxes. So Andrew, this is your box, okay? So you guys have been waiting patiently. I thank you very much for allowing me the honor and the opportunity, and I sound like Rudy now, um, for opening this thing for you. Let's see how we do. I'm also gonna be interested in tracking the layouts of the Mythics based off of my first box I filmed for myself. Uh, to see if what I think is happening inside these is true. And admittedly, if that, it does go that route, it is going to curb some of the extra mythics on the market, in which some of this price collapse will end up returning sooner than people may think. That's just my own personal opinion. I could be completely wrong. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I just track this stuff daily. <clears throat> anyway. Andrew. Oops. I have to say though, these are like these are really pretty packs, aren't they? They're really good looking. Just even the color, the, the gold, or like the rose gold color, that looks really good. Well done, well done, Wizard. You, you like, how do you guys go from the terrible M30 junk and then knock it out of the park with this? How do you guys do this? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, Andrew. Good luck. So I'm going to get through commons kind of quickly here. Chain Lightning, Street, Wraith. But I am going to slightly go through them just because they keep sneaking in some of the good borderless into that slot. Uh, borderless uh, on commons, that is. Elvish Spirit Guide, there we go. Phantom Neshoba for our first. Hey, Icy Manipulator, all right. Hey, I tied. Okay, this one, it was in the back because it's foil. And the sweet, sweet land. Uh, that's, you know what? I'm going to put that at the top. That's... Foil Borderless High Tide is pretty cool. All right, pack two. There's 36 packs to get through. You just take, you just take a minute. Get no, no time for lollygagging. Loon, Golem, Illusion of Reality. Hey, Enlightened Tutor, old boy, starting us off hot. You know what, you're gonna go right there, because I always do land and then mythics. Squirrel token, squirrel. Yeah, nut, nut collectors in this set. I, I, I try my best to memorize what exactly they put in every set beforehand, but I can't say necessarily succeed on that. And then I look again, and then I remind myself, oh yeah, that is in there. It's, yeah, I just, I guess I think about too many things. Okay, Draw News Crusade. Xur the Enchanter. Mm -hmm. Savannah Lions, Pre-Umbra Bobcat, and Lightning Plates. So that actually begins a good question. I would love everybody's commentary on this. What do you th actually personally think was the better set? TSR or Dominaria Remastered? I think it's a really good discussion. Formouts Crypt. Gamble! Very nice. Gamble in the borderless. Okay, Dark Withering. And a Swamp. Okay. Gotta love hitting a... because I think my first box had four rare... Um, borderlesses, which is quite a few to be to be honest, at least uh, versus versus packed pro past products that is with adding them into draft boxes. Okay, invigorating boon, crawl space. You know what? I don't know if crawl space belongs at the top, but I'm gonna put it there. Hey, old bordered peregrine Drake. That's gonna go in some kind of weird little special common uncommon pile over there. Well, if you need Peregrine Drakes, the time is now. God, those things have been like $3 commons forever. Yeah, there's another one. Spirit Monger in a really sweet artwork. Phyrexian, uh, what are you? I don't even know you. Phyrexian Zombo, eh? Okay. Eh. Eh. Yeah, that's a, that's a limited card. Denizen of the Deep. Oh, Factor Fiction in the old border. And then a Mystic Enforcer foil. I'm going to do exactly what I did in the last video, unfortunately, and that far row is going to get way too long. Because I I think they did a really bang-up job with uncommon selections. Common and uncommon. Hycation Chavaneers. There we go. There's a, there's a nice Fallen Empires throwback. Circular Logic. Helm of Awakening. 
and a swampy. So it's still the same. If you have an old bordered rare or mythic, it will take the place of the actual pack rare, which is which is fascinating. I don't I don't think they've done anything like that in a real long time. Overmaster. Yeah, oh, no, Grim Lava Mancer. Uh, uh, fine, go up there. Yeah, they're win a foil opportunity. As Jake from Jake and Joel or Magic would say, if beforehand it was wide up, it is now no longer wide up. Body Snatchers, Tormoth's Crypt Old Border. Okay. No Mythics quite yet. So you got the Gem Palm Incinerator, High Tide, High Tide, Undead Gladiator. Okay, we got a good old Wrath of God. And an old bordered Mind Stone. Okay, let's find ourselves a Mythic, huh? It's been a minute. Getting near the end of the first row here. Spectral Lynx, Squirrel Nest, Helm of Awakening, okay. And go over there. Terror and an Ornithopter, Old Bordered Foil which would be a lot cooler if it wasn't for the fact that those literally just got released in Brother 4. Nature's Lore. There's a nice, nice and common pool. Order of Chaos. Sulfuric Vortex Old Border. Solar Blast in an island. Okay, we're done with the first row and no Mythics yet in... I am just keeping track of the check lands. Uh, I just have a feeling that they're actually going to be kind of a tough pull. And so far, I have been accurate in that assessment. Ice Manipulator, Mistress Factory. Talk about a couple of classics. Forgotten Ancient, Spirit Monger. Okay. I'm just going to state it now. If this box ends up having no mythics, I'm opening another box for you, Andrew. I'll keep this one. Because I, I did have a TSR box like that. I lit, my, the first one I opened had no mythics in the TSR box. And it was it was right from release period, too. So I guess that personally is just like a thought going through my head right now. Because that's a lot of packs without a mythic. So yes, I'm worried. Okay, Hinterland Harbor for our first in the land cycle. Hey, Tatiova, old border. That's a cool old border. Another Peregrine Drake, because why not? Another Frantic Search. Okay, Gerard's Verdict, Wall of Junk, Nantuko Monastery, Mythic? Not a Mythic. Zara Arian, Gerard's Verdict again. Slice and Dice, Mesa Enchantress, Frozen Crocus's Catacombs. Azorb. Where are the mythics? And I know, I know, like I, I don't know, and I know exactly how it feels. You're probably sitting there and Andrew's probably like, okay, yeah, seriously, where are the mythics? What's going on here? What's happening here? POA, I trusted you. Crop Rotation, okay. Cryptic Gateway, Old Bordered. Not necessarily a hit, but the fact that it's Old Bordered is pretty cool. Still a lot of packs left. Let's keep it positive up here. Chainer's Edict, Tatiova, Dodecapod, Mythic, Sylvan Library, very nice. Okay, Mythic number one, and, it, and it's a Hey, nature's lore, old border. Nice. Yeah, mythic number one, and it counts well. It counts hard. It matters. Sylvan Library, baby. Okay, good. Let's get another. Let's get, what, four more? Three more? I don't know. Still trying to figure that out. Impulse. 
Howl from Beyond. I cut this way too short before the uncommons. Dragon Blood, Pain, A, and Suffering. Legacy Weapon in the Old Bordered. So, okay. There does tend to be one Mythic Old Bordered so far per box. And because it takes the spot of the rare, it counts toward the total Mythic count. What I mean by that is it doesn't have its own set distribution. So whenever they did the sheets, that qualified in the Mythic run. It wasn't its own run, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Swords. Good old swords. Flesh Riva. Necro Savant. Vexine Sphinx. Chainer's Edict in the old border. That's cool. Uh, sure, you can go over here. That's that's pretty sweet. All right, come on. Let's find some more mythic fun, or or just a bunch of like really good rares. Let's let's do that too. Dread Return. Yeah, this is something I really like about this set. A lot of great uncommons and commons. Like that that's that's <clears throat> that is extra value that every box is getting. Oh, very nice. Oh, that is fantastic. And Tomb? Old Border? That's that's a sweet hit. I don't even care what these are currently at. They're going to go back up over $30. They're going to. Because that will be a forever good hit. As long as they don't overprint it too much. But they keep putting it in products like this, right? When's the last time they printed it? Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, Ultimate Masters, yeah. Yeah, so as long as they... they uh, just put some in the circulation once in a while. It will always remain a good pool, even if it is temporarily down. I think it did the same thing with Ultimate Masters. When it hit Ultimate Masters, it went down a lot. So it's, this isn't unusual, folks. I know a lot of people that, you know, are, are maybe newer to this, but like that's that's kind of normal. Fire and Ice. I feel like that's my new card I want to chuck. <laughs> no, I'm not chucking other people's cards unless they tell me to. Mythic. Test of Endurance. All right. Test of Endurance. Not a terrible Mythic Pool. And a Foil Denizen of the Deep. Yeah. Not a terrible Mythic Pool. Not a great Mythic Pool. Yeah, at least it's... I shouldn't say it out loud. Never, never jinx yourself, POA. Never jinx it. You have this weird way sometimes of calling things out before they happen. Ta... This is like the same box I opened for myself. <laughs> what the heck's going on here? <clears throat> what? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, at least, at least we're heading in a better direction. <laughs> what? What's happening here? If I open up a case in like. It only has two different types of boxes, and there's three of each box. I'm going to be, because that's what's coming next. This was from the same order from a, uh, from a premium LGS that, that my first box came from, right? Premium uh, WPN, that is. Sulfur Falls, cool. And Draw News Crusade. Okay, we're on the last 12 packs. Um... From that absolutely horrendous start, we did make some headway. So that is, that's a feel-good thing. We made some headway. We still got 12 packs to go to. Caldera, Floodgate, Shivan Dragon. Like, Shivan Dragon should be in this set, but should it still be a rare? questions are good. I don't have the answers. I know the name and, and all of that is is like classic magic as classic gets, right? Shivan Dragon means something. So does Sarah Angel. And that's an uncommon. Oh, so, well, it always, it always was, I know. Risk Rove. Body Snatcher Old Border. And Mesa Enchantress. Okay. Tiana, 
night and freaking day. Stand and deliver. Umbilicus. I didn't, I didn't know they put umbilicus in here. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. All right. That, that's, a, that's an interesting little combo card right there. Flame Tongue Cabu in the old bordered. Salt and Battery, Thrawn Golem. Turnabout. Oh, nice! Mystical Tutor! <laughs> there we go, with the Richard Kane Ferguson artwork, which I think his artworks he put into this particular set, I, I, you know, artwork is subjective, let me state that for the record, but I think they're so much better than the ones that were in uh, Double Masters 2022. I think they look really cool. Undead Gladiator, okay. All right, there's another nice rare pull. I'll let a couple more of those for, uh, since it, it seems to me another mythic may not be likely. Saw two balloon. Deadapult. Recoil. Hey, Clifftop Retreat. So you got three check lands. You got a lull or bold, bold, eh, old border. What do we got left? Seven picks. Plenty of time to do more damage. So I'm glad the box recovered some from the absolute disaster start, and right now, even based off what I've seen out there, this box is like decent. It can it can become good. We still got seven packs left. Rada, Elvish Spirit Guide. See stuff like that. That's the uncommons and commons are. It's like iconic masters. Like the icon, the the common, the commons and uncommons, especially the uncommons in that set, really push those boxes. I feel like this product's going to do a lot of that same. Mystic Remora. Very nice. Juggernaut. So you got the Kavu. Circular Logic. Damping Sphere. Exploration Old Border. Cool. All right. All right. Good, good, good. The kind of card we like to see here. I don't care what the price is currently at. It is currently low. That is a highly sought after commander card. <clears throat> As copies get snatched up on the market and this product starts to become less opened, that's when those prices, when people need more of them, they just start going up and up and up. Back to where they were. Quicksilver Dagger. Another exploration! <laughs> oh man, Old Board Savannah Lions. Woo! Killing it there. Yeah, this is a freaking master set. It really is. More so than, than Time Spell Remastered is. So it's two different fields, really. Spirit Monger. Dromar's Cavern. Storm Entity. And a Maze of Ith. Open Eyes, and Aqua Amoeba, which is not Aero Amoeba, so it does not fly. So since it's Aqua, I really need a water tank beside me to toss these into. Because they gotta go swimming. Aqua Amoeba's gotta swim. Three packs left. Let's stop, let's stop with the foolishness. This is a serious channel for serious people. Fact or Fiction. Spectral links. Opposition. Okay. Um, don't think it goes on top, but that's not, not bad. The Seer. Okay. Two packs left. Well, we got something potentially neat coming up. Because I fan the cards funny. Call the Herd. That's cool. Invigorating Moon. Treva's Ruins. Worldly Tutor, also in the borderless. Dude! Okay, this, this box, thankfully, has really started to... While it's not killing the game, it's doing, it's doing well. Very nice. And then Tiana in the old border. I need to get one of these old border ones for me. Yay! Chainer's Edict in a foil old border. That's pretty spicy. Yeah, I, I gotta get a Tiana. I, I'm sure it's gonna be cheap, but I didn't pull any out of the ones I did.
All right, last pack. Andrew, thank you for allowing me to do this for you. Um, thankfully, the rares, after that horrible start, really started to pop off. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to... Uh, actually, is this going to film first? Is this going to air first? I forgot to call Gamble a tutor, which I know is going to anger some people out there. I, I guess it is kind of a tutor, right? Kind of. All right, Impulse. Festering Gabo. Avon, Fate Shifter. Icy Manip. Squirrel Nest. And for our last one of the box. Okay. Divine Sacrament. And because that's Old Border, that is all she wrote, isn't it? All right. Yeah, Andrew. Um, you ended up doing all right here. Thank God. That was not looking good halfway through that box. That was looking pretty bad. Um, then the second half of the box is like, we got you. We got you. Just, just watch this. So... I hope you got some stuff here that you are looking for. I uh, hope you enjoy it. appreciate you letting me do it. appreciate everybody out there that watches. Um, obviously, daily videos. I'll admit I'm kind of kicking around going to six days instead. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but but here or there on, on in this video. Um, yeah. If this, is, if this is a decent box, like if this is like an average, that's a pretty good box. The card I didn't want to mention... Sarah, the, the freaking Sarah Avatar. Why is that a mythic in this product? Somebody answer me that question.